The Paris gun, or Paris Geschütz, was the longest range gun used in World War I designed to bombard Paris from behind the German lines in France. Designed by Fritz Rausenberger and built in the Krupp factories in Essen, Germany, it had the longest artillery range used in World War I. Firing a 100 kg shell to a maximum distance of 130 km, it had the distinction of being the highest human launched projectile until World War II with a maximum altitude of 42 km. Requiring a long barrel, it had a combination of rifling and smoothbore since machinery was unable to rifle barrels to that length. They used the 38 cm Max naval gun and mounted smoothbore extensions. The barrel had a truss tensioning attachment to compensate for sagging. The powder charge was large enough that barrel wear was a problem. Each shell was of a slightly bigger diameter to compensate and was custom made and numerically loaded. Each time the gun fired it became less accurate and eventually the inner barrel needed replacement. While inaccurate at such long range, it was able to shell Paris and create confusion since the shells landed with no audible source of origin. Some of the gun batteries were hidden in the forested areas in Crepy, France. About 300 rounds hit, causing the deaths of 256 Parisians and over 600 wounded. French aerial reconnaissance found the batteries and counter-battery fire was used to try to silence the guns. Before the war ended, the guns were dismantled by the Germans and only the mountings remained. No parts or plans of the guns have been found, but Rausenberger's notes were found by Gerald Bull in the 1980s.